Welcome to Mysterious Mysteries of Strange Mysteries. Tonight, we will be studying the college student. In the past decade, less than 98 fourths of the world's population has been killed by this dangerous creature. It is a subject so treacherous, no one has ever studied it. Until now. Goths, the evolved form of emos. Emos evolve when their black hole of sadness sucks in their will to kill themselves. This black hole of sadness is then relocated deep within their small intestines. Goths seek to find a purpose for their continued existence and often turn to strange beliefs for this explanation. Here we are at a sacred gothic ritual ground. Now though goths are very violent, angry creatures, I do not believe in using the serum on them. See, the goth is the transitional stage between the emo turning into a normal person. It is best just to let this happen naturally. Now, usually goths turn to Dr. Adkins' self-improvement books to help find the meaning of life. But they don't know he's fucking Satan. Here's their altar. As you can see, there's a picture right here. Dr. Atkins covered in cow blood. They laid out an offering of superior brand original flavor beef jerky to their god. For more information, please see Mysterious Mysteries with Strange Mysteries Investigation of Dr. Atkins. You can see the goths holding beef jerky and listening to doom metal. This is how they call their lord, Dr. Atkins, when they are in distress. This should only last about 15, 20 minutes, but we're going to document the whole thing. That's great, Tim, but we have an even more important topic to discuss today. The hipster. Can you please tell us more? Yes, absolutely. Now, we've discovered that one of our students that composed the big emo from the previous episode has turned into a hipster. Now, hipsters can come from any student subgroup population. It's basically a PBR fungus that infects them and de-evolves students into hipsters. And now, to Dr. Joseph von Fritzl for more information. I was once a hipster. Well, until Eiffel 65 broke up. Their DJ wanted to produce his own CDs, which were okay, I guess. The other two members became Bloom 06 in the meantime and made much better CDs. In fact, I started to wonder what Gabriel Ponte's purpose was beyond preventing them from singing in Italian and running people over in their music videos. Then Eiffel 65 reformed. They said they were going to produce a new CD, but instead they did a bunch of concerts that kind of sucked, singing along to their songs played over the speakers. I ended up joining the mainstream with the Lady Goo Goo Dolls and the Fallout Girl. What Dr. Fritzl failed to mention, though, is once a student's been infected with PBR, they can't return to their normal form. Only in the past two minutes has our world's top scientist come up with an antidote for this fungus. That's right, Dr. Fritzl. I know your secret. I know you're still a hipster. I'm gonna tell Tim Irwin. He'll probably cry and scream a little bit, but... Now if you remember from our previous emo episode, behind me is emo component number two. Now she's been infected with the PBR fungus, which infects brain function and also shows up on the neck. And that's why they wear the scarf. This is called the hipster look. And they have been created from the PBR fungus. Just moments ago, our top scientists developed the serum, the anti-PBR fungus serum that is hopefully going to turn these people normal. Now we're going to go up, we're going to try to communicate with these hipsters, and we're going to try to inject her with this. We're going to try to knock her out with an ancient technique called the Vulcan Touch, yeah? All right. Now I'm going to try to blend in. Let's see how this goes. Thank God. Oh, hey. How are you guys doing? Uh, can I help you? Oh, lovely weather, isn't it? I guess so. Yeah. Cool scarf, by the way. 
whatever. Very stylish. What do you want? She's useless the you way she is. We need to save her. Anyway. Ah, got you now. Oh. Wow. <laughs> now there's only one in one billionth chance that this is actually going to turn in normal. And if it doesn't, it'll turn her into a pure vegetable. She can be completely brain dead. Well, we're going to help her. Only time will tell now. Dr. Joseph von Fritzl studied at the University of the History of Cambridge for five years and then went to the field for the rest of his life. We learned a lot of things about stuff today and I think we have somebody we need to talk to. So we'll do that. This has been strange and mysterious. Good night. How do you feel now that you're not a hipster? Do you feel your life has changed at all? Next episode of Mysterious Mysteries of Strange Mysteries Investigates. Sai, non ne hai avuto mai.